Okay, uh, so this video is going to be about Arma 3, um, and uh, particularly about um, keybinds and mods, um, and how you would change those, and how some mods don't fall under the standard control scheme, um, and how to find those and, and, uh, and change or, or set up those if you, if you needed to. Uh, so we're going to be talking about two mods in particular. It's going to be the Ace 3 mod and the Enhanced Movement mod, just to get on, give you two different examples. Um, the Ace 3 mod is the uh, basically the number one mod for Arma. Um, it's the Advanced Combat Environment mod, and then uh, the Enhanced Movement mod. Um, so uh, one thing to, 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 to realize is I'm actually relatively new to the to Arma, uh, PC gaming in general, but uh, 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 also uh, Arma, um, and so making these videos uh, and talking about them actually allows me to more um, uh, understand them more and to ha have it more ingrained uh, into it, so I don't forget this stuff later. <laughs> um, I also yeah, because I use a keypad instead of a standard keyboard while I'm playing. Um, it uh, I have to deal with keybinds and setting these things up much more than I would say the probably the co the common player does. Um, at least I, I I would I would think so. Uh, but anyway, so uh, from the home screen here, uh, one of the things you can see is all the different uh, mods that you have uh, loaded down here at the bottom. Uh, this is the Ace Three mod, and this is the Enhanced Com uh, or Enhanced Movement mod. <laughs> um, and you can actually click on any of these mods and have them pull up a screen to show you and talk about that mod. But we'll go ahead and click on the enhanced movement just because it's a little bit different. Um, all the other ones, you know, will pull up like a, a, a website or, or, you know, like, a, you know, whatever community is the one that made it, some information about it. But the enhanced movement mod doesn't do that. Uh, it does, however, give you a couple of things that you can see here. Uh, you can see uh, some, uh, some basic settings here. Um, and the main thing is the keys. So has five different uh, uh, actions here, and then followed by what they actually would be uh, uh, assigned to. The user action is actually um, a custom control that's built into the base game, uh, and you have to set your keybinds for those spe uh, specifically. Now, when you actually click on these, you can actually change them through 1 through 20 uh, as far as the user actions, or you can actually disable them altogether if you don't want them to take up this. This is so that if you have like conflicting mods where some other ones use the 1 through 5, you can change them to other actions, and so they won't conflict. Um, and that's, the, that's the, what that's for. So we're going to go ahead and go into the Ace Arsenal, though. Um, and uh, have this uh, pull up so I can actually test and, and go run through the different features of these uh, of the two different uh, things I wanted to show you. So um, let's go ahead and uh, the first thing that you can do um, when you're changing uh, uh, controls um, is there's two different ways to do so. There's under the controls tab, there's also the add-on options tab. We'll go over that in a second. We'll go through the controls first. Um, so you can go through the controls, and you can see how actually was messing with this earlier. That's under the contr uh, custom controls uh, tab, whereas normally you'd pre you know these are all your base base commands, and you scroll down and you can see custom controls. You would click on that, and you can actually assign a key to any of these yeah, unique custom controls. In this case, I just assigned three to this for, for testing purposes. Um, and the other way to set up mod. Uh, uh, keybinds would actually be to go to your configure add-ons add button down here and then you would actually go to your individual mods and select them uh, you'll see here in this list uh, enhanced movement mod is not located here hence why you can't change it this is also one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about that um, is because it does not appear here so you'd actually have to learn how to change those features now ace movement or you know which is part of ace has a climb animation, same as enhanced movement does. Um, I currently have that set to Control V, and I'm going to show you why I'm actually probably going to be deleting this in the future and only using the enhanced movement um, as long as we're going to be using that mod. Um, the other thing I wanted to show was the add-on options and how that you can that allows you to change in uh, different settings and features of different mods um, on your side as well as on the server side. But we'll see here 
that enhanced movement is not part of this list either so you would not actually be able to change those settings which is hence why you need to know how to select the mods uh, uh, and go to the expansions list. Like I said, one way was, was of going through the main menu. Another way is once you've pulled up this escape menu uh, down here in the bottom right, you'll see this little puzzle piece, and this is, allows you to see the list of active mods. You click on that, and you pull up that same expansion screen we saw earlier, and you go down to enhance movement, and you'd be able to see the different uh, features and select those. So that's how you would do that. Now, um, let's go ahead and go over the difference between the two um, and, uh, and see how that works. So the first one we're going to do is the ace movement. Um, you see my character has to put away his rifle first, he climbs up, he takes it back out, and he ends in a crouched position. Um, it also took quite a while to get up there, and so during a firefight that could be um, not viable. Uh, so let's go ahead and show the enhanced movement and why I'm going to be using this from now on. And I'm up. That's as quick as that. Now, the reason why these mods had to come up with these is because the climbing was not in the base game. You, uh, the, it was not in Arma at all, and so these mods have had to come up with ways to uh, go around that. Um, the only thing that Arma had as far as movement for the soldier was a vault mechanic, um, and that was where you actually would step over... And, uh, a short wall or item um, obviously would not work uh, while trying to do it on this. Um, there was also, when, when you're moving and you press to the same button, you did like a little hop skip over things. Those were the two, uh, uh, that was the only uh, feature uh, that would allow you to um, be a little bit more of a dynamic soldier and move around the battlefield. Well, uh, with enhanced movement uh, and ace movement, but uh, in particular enhanced movement, that has been eliminated and you're now able to just climb up on stuff. And uh, very big change uh, from the base game. And um, yeah, the uh, uh, I actually have never personally played the base game of Arma. Um, from, uh, from everything that I understand, um, the modding community for uh, for Arma has always been very extensive, and they basically have made Arma another experience altogether versus what the uh, base game uh, was like. But that's the video, and that's what I wanted to talk about was those different uh, keybind situations and how to affect those and change those, uh, and actually be able to see your different mods and change those features as well. And uh, that's all I got for you. Thank you for watching.